The human cost of the virus in Spain shows no sign of abating. It's once again registered its highest daily fatality figures. 864 patients have died in 24 hours. More than 9,000 people have now died in Spain since the pandemic began, second only to Italy. The country's now recorded more than 100,000 cases in total. Well, let's talk to James Badock, a journalist in Madrid. James, um, another grim tally today. Indeed, uh, extremely grim. Um, and the, the news that's coming through increasingly from uh, regions around Spain, from mayors and local leaders, is that perhaps these death figures are actually uh, a serious underestimation uh, of, of the reality because a lot of people are dying um, at, in their homes. They're not necessarily being tested uh, or they're dying in care homes and, and where, you know, we've seen that many of those uh, residences have been completely overwhelmed and many uh, patients haven't been tested and uh, will not therefore be registered as deaths uh, due to COVID-19. So the, the real figure could be several thousand higher. We really will, you know, I don't want to, you know, be too dramatic about it, but it, it does look like the real figure is considerably higher. And what's also clearly the case is that there are many, many, many hundreds of thousands of positives out in Spain that we just don't know. The government hasn't been able to distribute yet a lot of uh, rapid test kits to screen um, um, groups around the country to really find out the, the extent of infection. Uh, there's talk that 15% of the population in one study could be infected. We don't know, but it's clearly must be more than 102,000 because that also would give us a death rate, even according to the official figures, of 9%. And no one thinks that's realistic. So the crisis is still somehow uh, beyond uh, the health authorities' control. It's, it's just hard to know the full dimensions of, of what's going on. It's a desperate picture. And are there any signs of, of hope to come? Of course, in the UK, we heard yesterday about, about green shoots the government's advisers were talking about, as in a flattening of the curve and the prospect that after we get over uh, the apex of the curve, things might get a little better. Is the same... Um, glimmer of hope apparent in Spain? Uh, I mean, there's a press conference that'll be going on now, the daily press conference of the technical committee looking after this. Now, they're talking about the same idea, the, the curves flattening in terms of the official numbers. The, the numbers are pretty much pretty similar each day. We have a slight new record today, but we're talking about 800 and of 800 odd uh, uh, deaths each day. We're talking about uh, a rise in uh, recognised cases of about 9-10% per day. But what is the reality? That's that's the issue. It's still not known. And, and difficult choices are beginning to have to be made. For example, Catalonia has, uh, uh, the Catalan Health Service has said, given out instructions to its doctors to uh, basically screen uh, older patients for who and who will not be admitted to intensive care. You know, it depends on their age. It depends on, on how frail they are. Uh, so resources are absolutely stretched to a limit and there is a sense that, you know, the crisis, you know, the, the amount of infections is so great uh, that it's hard to really say where the peak is. It it's, feels like it's coming, but, 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 you know, when will that be? It's impossible to say. And, and the lockdown measures, of course, could be here to stay for a long time. And one last question, James, on, on personal protection equipment, because we've heard a lot about that in Spain, as in the UK and so many other countries. Are they getting on top of that problem? I think that is they're beginning to get on top of that now through a mixture of uh, some supplies have been brought in. There have been several plane loads of supplies um, to help especially uh, health workers be protected while, while they're working. But still, we have, and this was two days ago, the, the last figure I've seen on the amount of infected health workers is more than 12,000. So that's over 10% of the total number of positives in Spain. And that is largely, I think, due to uh, uh, the difficulty of getting enough equipment to the right people at the right time. Obviously, the whole world's scrambling for visors, for face masks and, and all the rest of it. And, uh, and there was a big cost in Spain because of that. But I think it is that is beginning to get better now. James, I'm glad we found something uh, to feel hopeful about, even if the uh, case figures and the death figures and the testing figures are still uh, so sombre. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.